event where it's just me saying, hey everyone, um, let's do a AMA, ask me anything, and I'll answer as many questions as I can, basically playing the, uh, the server role, and then we'll, there'll be some moment where we snap our fingers and you guys flip into DDoS mode and you guys just start spamming me with either the, the same question over and over again or even better, just hundreds of different questions and I try to keep up. So uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, if you guys are hearing this and understood everything I said, reply with the words, thumbs up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. Oh. oh, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. Oh, it's, it's just Waffle Waffle. Okay. <laughs> Somebody saying thumbs down is being an asshole. So, Brian and everyone else, do you still smoke? Uh, okay, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Wait for it. Wait for it. Somebody missed uh, Mark L. Save it. Save it, buddy. Not yet. All right. Also, also, you can change your name to Mark L by removing the brackets. Just type uh, slash Nick space Mark L. All right, we good? Brian, you want to prep a slate? Roger that. Wait, you do ready? I not have my phone? Yep, That's sounds good. speed. It's an, oh, it's probably downstairs on the counter. Fuck, because I was doing push-ups. Which we have 22 minutes until the next round. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, to the next round of push-ups? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. What is this for? Worried. We're doing the Russian chest expansion program. I see. And <laughs> it's like two weeks of this push-up regimen every hour. It's, at first, like yesterday was the first day and we were doing like, and it's, it's an episode we're doing. Uh, but at first yesterday it was like six push-ups every hour because my max was kind of low and you're just like supposed to do like 30% of your max, right? Okay. But then today it's like, like 50% of your max. Oh, that's amazing. And so my max was like 21, so I've been doing push-ups every hour on the hour. And it, it changes, like, how many you're supposed to do. But, like, one day you're like, do 60% every 15 minutes. It's insane. Like, like there will be a day you will do 1,000. Well, I, I, I'll do 1,000. You'll probably do, like, seven or 800 in one day. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I just, all of this is just pain. It's fine. And then I think, okay, no, it's good. It's good. I'm going to get down. But then when I get down there, I'm just like, oh, no, this isn't happening. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Um, slate coming up. Here we go. Did anyone get it? I got it. Okay. Can you turn the brightness on your laptop just down a little sure. bit? Sure. Touch. Thank you. Perfect. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, right. Should I, uh, everybody watching right now, if you can try to find one or two more people to join in this shenanigan as we do it. Um, but, uh, you got like 15 minutes and we'll get to the part where we do a demonstration. Uh, all right. <clears throat> How do we want to begin? So DDoS is not as advanced as DOS 4.0, but it's not as wait i'm gonna i'm gonna actually hold on here yeah. we go so ddos is when you finally install windows and you're no longer on dos 4.0 different and you're hurting our guest you're wait. you're hurting his core <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> i'm ddosing i'm going to windows <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like he's like uh uh i yeah. i don't know which wounds him more the fact that it's an out-of-date reference or the fact that it's a horrible pun he, he just strips his mic off and walks <laughs> out like, of the room he's like i'm sorry guys okay. i'm at the wrong interview <laughs> okay would you call yourself a lead hacksaw i i no 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 are Mainly you zero be, cool no uh, no, I'm not 17, and this is not 1998. How about okay. that? All right. So, so when you were a kid, how bad did you want to be a hacker? I mean, in theory, like, 
Oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, so when you were a kid, how bad did you want to be a hacker? Are you kidding me? To, to have the ability to launch nuclear devices and call the president because you can deep dop doop dop? Yes! I was thinking of just deep dop doop dop to change my grades or something like that. All of those! But you want to launch you want to launch nuclear weapons. I mean, okay. I, mean I don't want... I, I just want to know that I could. Okay. Know. It's pretty easy, though. Like, swordfish? That was, like, totally realistic, right? I never saw... <laughs> Yeah, my, my setup at work, six monitors all day. <laughs> with John Travolta standing over you with a gun? That's the only way to do it. I saw Jay Gore visibly cringe. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, like... How else do you get your way through six different proxies in Firewall? <laughs> uh, all right, you want to do another one? Yeah, yeah. Um... Okay. I'm not much of a hacksore. I'm not quite leet. Still haven't got to the end of the Oregon Trail. Dude, come back when you finish Karatika. I'm done. Karatika. <laughs> that was kind of terrible. Uh, what else? Um... All right. Uh, <clears throat> when was the most you ever felt like an actual hacker, like an underground member of this anti-establishment movement? I can say honestly, never. What? Never. Dude, I was in third grade on my Apple IIe swapping bootleg pirated copies of the Anarchist Cookbook and stolen software playing Hard Hat Mac. Oh, I have a story. Yes. Okay. Sixth grade, uh, my uh, sixth grade, my computer teacher didn't know that we knew how to check the directory to find out what was on a disk. And she said, here, play this game. Just type in this, and you can play this game. It was like Gunsmoke or Oregon Trail or something. But we found Leisure Suit Larry. What? We found Sex Quest. What? So, sixth grade, sitting in there playing uh, Leather Goddess of Phobos. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Yeah. You were yeah. a lead hacksaw. Because I knew how to check the directory to see what was on a five and a half. Doesn't matter. Floppy. Doesn't matter. You impressed me. <laughs> uh, you want to try a tighter version of all that? Or, sure, sure. Uh, 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 okay. <clears throat> Do you remember? Do you remember buying a piece of software and not being able to play it until you used the decoder wheel to answer the trivia question? Oh wow, that takes me back. Uh, better yet, I remember going into Best Buy and Walmart and changing the passwords on all of the computers. Dude, elite hacksaws, you and me. Yeah. We don't need this guy. Why is he here? <laughs> uh, are we? Are we? Are we good, Brad? I think we're good. Yeah, I think. We're Okay, all right, all right. <clears throat> Brad's like, I guess. Just, yeah. just, just uh, whatever makes this finish. Just please let the professional uh, talk, for God's sake. <clears throat> all right, we're getting into... All right, Jason, we're going to talk some serious hacking capabilities. So we recruited one of the best, UT's very own expert in hacking, Jay Gore. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great, Brian. Right on. Okay, so oh, let me let me do something. <laughs> that was it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> like next up in the Jay Gore report, yeah. how do you think his milk was this morning? We'll find out after the break. Just keep living. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Uh, sorry, it was what was it? Hacker for the University of okay, Texas. Okay, got it. All right. <clears throat> All right, Jason, we're getting into some hardcore hacking, so we need a true expert. So we got UT's very own Jay Gore. Thank you so much for joining us, man. Thanks, Brian. All right, now in the news recently. You may remember that Twitter and Spotify and Netflix all went down. And Reddit. And Reddit. Wait, Reddit went down? Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, that communications tool that you barely understand went down, and yeah. you're sad about it. Uh, all right, let's try it again. <laughs> From the top. All right. <clears throat> From the top, okay. <clears throat> All right, Jason, I want to know the real work on hacking. So we got a hacker from the University of Texas, Jay Gore, to join us. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Brad. All right. Now, recently in the news, Twitter, Reddit, Spotify, Netflix, they all went down, and they were down for the better part of a day, right? Yeah. Uh, six hours at least, yeah. Okay. And that's huge. And people are saying that it was most likely a group of kids using a denial of service attack. Yes. Or a DDoS. Exactly. Tell uh, us what a DDoS is. Yeah, so DDoS is a distributed denial of service attack. 
Uh, so we had this old concept, DOS, denial of service, which is anything that would interrupt a service um, and not let legitimate users get through. And sort of a more recent concept on this is distributed DDoS. And that's if you have enough resources from different places all over the world attacking the same victim, that alone is enough to take down this resource and not allow any legitimate users to get through. And the way they did it was really interesting in that they exploited some fundamental flaws in the Internet of Things. Now, the Internet of Things is stuff like webcams and... Uh, Baby monitors, baby monitors, televisions, any, any object. Smart light bulbs. Got it. Yeah, and so they utilized all of those vulnerable computers to all attack a DNS server at the same time. And so it was, I believe, one of the biggest DDoS attacks in history. Uh, let, let's do this. Too, too let, much? Well, no, 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 no. I, I think it's exactly right. Let's start by defining terms. So we'll dial back to the beginning, and we'll just say, like... Um, We'll say, we'll say uh, uh, so you want to take something down. Used to be in the old days, you would get access from the inside by, passing the, by bypassing the password and shutting the thing down and tearing it up from the inside. You don't need to do that anymore. Uh, a DDoS, what is a DDoS attack? And then let's talk about what a DDoS is not. A DDoS is not you gaining access. It's not you being able to, you know, imagine that your house is a locked facility um, and, uh, uh, you know, you cannot get in because you don't have mm -hmm. the password. But what you can do is keep ringing the, the doorbell and, you know, occupying you so you can't get legitimate things done. Or, I don't know, whatever the metaphor we, is we want. But, but, like, let's take a moment right at the top to say what DDoS is not. Does that sound good? Sure, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's, let's start take it from the top then. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh, in fact, I'm going to let you introduce Jagor. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, Jason, I want the real work on hacking. I want to be able to take down the man. Okay, well, this guy here is our specialist. Is he Jake, the man? He, if you want me to take him down, I he's, will. He's not the man. Oh, he's a he's man. He's not the man. Got it. He's, he's the man, but for a different thing. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's start that over. Fine. That was <laughs> ugly. That was, we're going off. Let's... <laughs> He's a man, I'm assuming. Maybe not. Maybe he's non binary. <laughs> I don't know. Right. No judgment. Whatever. All right. All right. Yeah, All right, let's do it. All right, Jason, I want to get into some serious hacking. I want to be able to take down the man, or at least his website. Where do I begin? All right, here we have the hacker for the University of Texas, Jay Gore. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Thank you, Jason. Let me try that again, because I was just like, <laughs> okay. sorry, do all right, it again. All right. Jason, I'm done. I'm out. I want to take down the man. I need to know elite hacking skills to take down the big websites. Okay, you're very intense right now. Yes, I, I am. I drink a lot of Mountain Dew. <laughs> I could Fuck you. <laughs> okay, from the top. <laughs> Sorry. You That's a wrap. This, by the way. I, I know. I know. That's fine. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I can't look you in the eye right now. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> well, it's good. It's good. It's fine. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, Murphy. <laughs> 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 we don't have a schedule or anything. It's, yeah, fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah. We're fine. All right. <clears throat> it's okay. I told Mario we were running a little late. Okay. All right, Murphy, if I want to be a real hacker and be able to take down big establishments, I need elite hacking skills. Okay, that's not me, so we brought the hacker for the University of Texas, Jagor. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Dude, Jagor, you're the yeah, best, man. Here. All right, so talk me through what is a DDS... Uh, so talk me through what is a DDoS not? Because in general, I would think that to take down a website, you secure the password, you get inside, and you say delete website, and then it's gone. Yeah, so with a DDoS, you're not actually compromising anything. You're not gaining any access to the server itself. You are just throwing traffic at it and hoping that you block other people from accessing it legitimately. So it's an availability attack rather than confidentiality. So, uh, uh right on. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, so recently we had one of the biggest denial of service attacks in history. And see, people, so recently we had one of the biggest denial of service attacks in history, and people are saying that it was perpetrated by a bunch of kids using the Mirai malware. That's the, what, who they suspect anyway. Yes. Um, so really, actually, anyone could have used this Mirai botnet because it was released open source to the internet. So anyone could be running this software and make their own botnet to attack their target. Now tell us what a botnet is. 
A botnet is any collection of a large number of uh, resources, usually computers, could be devices. Uh, yeah. Okay, now, apparently... What, uh, actually, uh, here, say that, say that again. I've got to pick up. Okay. Um, so a botnet is any large collection of resources, usually a computer or a, an embedded device of some sort. So uh, when you say botnet, most people in terms of... Uh, sorry, uh, take it again. Um, so a botnet is any large collection of resources, usually a computer or maybe an embedded device of some sort. So this is a misconception when it comes to computer malware. People think that people are out to delete their hard drives or whatever, but if your virus, but if a virus infects your computer, usually what they're looking for is just a little bit of control so they can have your computer be one of an entire zombie botnet of computers to where everybody can, can send an email at the same time or ping the same website at the same time? Yeah, so usually you're not the interesting target they're after. They're infecting your computer in order to accomplish some other goal to attack a, a higher profile site. And, and that's almost more insidious because uh, if everybody was deleting your files, you would know to use virus cleaner, but if they're quiet and discreet, kind of like actual human viruses, you know, something that makes you, gives you a little bit of a fever, makes you cough a little bit, just enough to propagate throughout, it, it makes them a living host. Exactly. Now, one of the things that they did uh, to use these numbers to attack a single DNS server that took down Twitter and Spotify and Netflix and Reddit for about six hours was taking advantage of the Internet of Things. Tell us what that is. Yes, so Internet of Things, very popular popular in these, let's start that over. Uh, so Internet of Things, um, very popular in recent days, is basically giving an operating system and a networking stack to a small embedded device, like your refrigerator or your toaster or your thermostat. They're all running a full operating system. They're running full code the same way that your laptop or desktop would. So, uh, 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 here, say that last part and I'll pick it up. Uh, so, uh, a refrigerator, a toaster, um, thermostat, they're all running a full operating system the same way that your laptop or your desktop would. So, like, right now, even in the studio, we have Philips Hue lights everywhere, but these are actual miniature computers that are running and could, we think of them in terms of soldiers that take orders, but they could give orders because they're connected to the Internet. Absolutely, yeah. Cool story. Yeah. So m now maybe it's time to move into the demonstration. Or, uh, or um, what, what? What? Okay. So let let's talk about who would use a, a D dot. Or, or, so let's let's hypothetically. So you have amassed this large botnet of infected things, mm -hmm. uh, and then and we'll say what can you do with it, and then yeah. we'll say, and then we'll go into the illustration. And we should also probably talk about how easy it is for people to get access to it and utilize it. Okay, uh, uh, I'm okay. going to lean on you guys for that. Okay. All right, all right. All right. So, so it's ex oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We get to all right. Like, okay. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. Start yeah, with that. Yeah. Okay. So it is exceptionally easy for people to get their hands on these and utilize them. Even people who have only rudimentary coding skills can download some of these applications off of message boards and so forth so that they can wreak widespread havoc. Absolutely. Uh, there's a common tool called the Low Orbit Ion Cannon. You download, download, download that to your computer and you can launch it, uh, attacks against any site on the, on the internet. Here, uh, back, back that up. Yeah. Uh, for me? Yeah. Okay. What's really kind of terrifying about this is that anyone with any sort of even rudimentary knowledge about coding can access these applications and use them to cause widespread destruction. Yeah, uh, denial of service attacks are usually the. Ah, I messed that up. That's right. Let me That's okay. think about what we're going to say here. Um, I like the low orbit cannon. That was like really good and a really. That's a good concrete one. example, yeah. uh, well, and specifically be, because there's two factors. There's there's um, the infection of a wide body or the access to a wide body of infected. Uh, mm -hmm. Devices, and then there's where you direct the it, and, the, and the fusion is sort of the. Yeah, and the, just to, just to clarify a little bit, low orbit ion cannon is making yourself a bot in a botnet versus controlling a botnet yourself. Oh no, that's great. Ex explain. In fact, in fact, let's just dive into that yeah. as quick as we can. Yeah, so that's you, good. Here, you do okay. that up. So what's kind of terrifying about this is that anyone with even rudimentary coding abilities can access these applications and wreak widespread havoc. Absolutely. So there's a commonly available tool out there right now, Low Orbit Ion Cannon, that you just download this application, fire it up on your computer, 
and now you're a bot who's able to launch deadly traffic against a particular victim, along so, with everyone else running the same tool. Okay, so in other words, basically you would form a team of computers, all of which are supercharged, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, damn it, sorry, I fucked it all up. All right. Uh, Just yeah. take it from your phone. Yeah, okay, all right. So if I'm hearing you correctly, every computer you install this software on becomes kind of a full-time job of doing nothing but ringing the doorbell of a certain server. And if you get enough computers affected with the same com and if you get enough computers running the same software all on the same target, they can't possibly keep up. Yep, that's the idea. You're overwhelming their ability to respond to you so that they can't respond to a legitimate person trying to buy something from their website. So that's fascinating because you don't actually shut anything down. All you do is create a big enough crowd on the outside of whatever this establishment is that nobody can get in. Yes, it's a very temporary attack. Your goal is just to interrupt the availability of this site for a particular window of time. Do we want to go into the whole kind of like quasi blackmailing the, the, the gray market? Like sports betting is a good example, usually to illustrate oh, uh, this. Uh, okay. So, so, okay, all right, well, here, go for it. I'm not sure where you're going with this, so go ahead. All right. Uh, here, yeah, just take it up with the sports betting. Sure. So, one common attack would be, for example, uh, let's denial of service a sports betting website right before the big event. Oh, shoot. So, you place a bunch of bets early on. And then you affect, you see that it's like, okay, uh, maybe maybe some fact has changed in the game, and now you know this guy's mom died or whatever, you expect him to perform poorly, it changes the betting spread, so you're like, hey, no, block everybody from oh, getting in wow. there, I got in when the betting was good. Yeah, or even just say, come to the sports betting website and say, I'm going to take down your website during these peak hours for your business model unless you give me these Bitcoins. On so the this side. is straight up extortion. Absolutely. This is similar to uh, ransomware, which we should talk about at another time. Um, how do you do this again? <laughs> 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 okay, so we have a very basic example of how this can work. It's not literally a denial of service attack, but it's an illustration. And everyone that we have enlisted... Five, four, three, two, one. I thought that was going to time out better than it did. <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, what's, what's, what's happening? Uh... I think we're th oh we're ten seconds away. I'm gonna do it. Here, no, no, no. here, here. Let's no? just let's just be talking so we get <laughs> the footage right. in the middle of it. All right. Hey, all right. hey, you, your mic. Oh, oh, yeah. all the fuck out. I'm sorry. Christ. What are you doing? What are you? Ah, damn it. I don't know how to shut it up. Like, do I tap it? Do I stroke it? You pull it down and hit. You pull it down? That's another thing now? It's a notification. It's dumb. Dumb. It's dumb. All notifications it's in. dumb. Ah. All right. Yeah. This is good. Whoa. This is good stuff. This is not a custom. You don't have to do this, Jake. Or Excellent. This is just them. Um... Drag. Oh. Ah, you don't feel strong and tough and tight? No, I just want to go home. It's fine. It's fine. Drink. Okay, all right. Is this <clears throat> the Russian chest burst director? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, before we got to rants, I, I think yeah. I took us can, off course so when I brought up. Can we check your mic? Yeah, just, you I, can you do a check? Just oh, sure. There? All right, uh, this is how I'm sounding right now. Do I sound okay? Yeah, yeah got it. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, so we were about to, I was about to say we have an illustration. Yeah, let's dial it back before that. I started talking about ransomware. You were talking about sports betting, and then I, I said extortion. So uh, uh, let me give a simpler version of like a... <clears throat> like a <clears throat> so in that case, we're talking about extortion. We're talking about pay me money or I'm going to send so many people. So in that case, we're talking about extortion. We're saying pay me money or I'm going to send so many bots at your front door, you won't be able to do any legitimate business. Yep. They're basically shutting down their business during their peak hours. All right. So, well, 
So we have a very basic illustration of that, right? <laughs> yes. All right. For our illustration, because we don't want to actually engage in any kind of malware attack or any kind of distributed denial of service attack, we're going to do a virtual one. I will play the server. Right now, we have a live chat room. Hello, live chat room. Everybody, please say hi in the chat as we wait. Oh, wait. Oh, Hello, there they are. World. There we go. Good call. There we go. There we go. Okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in this case, I'm going to play the server, and my job is to answer the questions that they send to me. So let's consider this a miniature Ask Me Anything. Hi, I'm a server. I'm here to answer the questions you have. I'm going to do as fast as a Brian Brushwood can answer questions. And in fact, uh, let's go ahead and start that right now. Everybody in the chat started asking me questions. I'll answer as many as I can. All right, here we go. I'm ready. I'm sure I can. How taller am I? I am five foot seven inches. Got it. How do I juggle work and family? Uh, it's hard. You skipped one. Um, hi, uh, what's my preferred Nick Schwood? Uh, why is the sky blue? Because, uh, what is three plus three, six? Um, send me the files, please. Will do, Serge. Um, pickles as a hamburger topping, no. Um, uh, okay, so, all right, this is not bad, but I feel like I can kind of get through all of these. Uh, no, you've been skipping a lot of them. Wait, wait, I, I'm getting through them. I'm getting very, through them. No, you've skipped a bunch of them. That is very poor I'm a performance. very popular server, Jason. I'm doing my best. People can ask their questions a second time. Keep on going. Here we go. Am I a botnet maybe, other than Diamond? Maybe this time Jason says them so that way he can just keep running through answers and then you try to answer them. Oh, great. Okay, yeah, read, they, read yeah, all yeah. The questions? keep on going, guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, who's your favorite co-host? Uh, Jason. There you go. Next. Uh, where do you live? Uh, Austin. What's next. What's with your hair? Uh, uh, I don't know. What is your favorite color? Uh, blue. Green. Green. Uh, how many seagulls can you fit in a Mazda Miata? Uh, a how lot. How the sun? Uh, Did your 12-year-old do a, a good lot. question babysitting? Uh, uh, what's yes. your favorite beer? How much does Justin's uh, beer do IPA. Weigh? What is the best thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, Who is the you. first lady of the United States? Tacos uh, or burritos? That, what is the meaning of the universe? All right, all right, hold on. Hold on. Are we doing regular or are we doing DDoS now? Are we doing DDoS? No. No. no, 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 We have to demonstrate. I thought we were doing DDoS. No, no, no. We, well, we have, have to. so many people that even if they all. I know, I know, I know. No, no. <laughs> I thought that was DDoS. No, 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 no. This is, you, you'll know DDoS. DDoS is when you can't even keep up with their questions, right? I can't keep up with their questions now. So, all right. No, no, no. So, so, all right. Keep them coming. Keep them going. All right. Here we go. Keep going. Okay. Uh, who will win the American election? Uh, Clinton. Uh, have you ever used Linux? Uh, yes. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Uh, is Al. And what does he do? Uh, uh, he's my dad. Uh, where do unicorns come from? Uh, magic. How do you internet? Uh, yes. How do you internet? Yes. This isn't the DDoS demo. Okay. That's uh, right. That's right. Who is your daddy and what does he do? His name's Al. He's my dad. Trump or Hillary? Y yes. Uh, what is your Reddit username? No. Uh, have you met Ted? No. What's a flying unicorn called? Uh, awesome. What is the temperature in Austin? Uh, yes. Why was your hair spiky? Uh, because. How many displays are in your studio? Ah, oh, jeez, one, two, three, four, three, a lot. What's the longest bike ride you've ever gone on? Uh, 100 miles. Uh, were you a straight A student in high school or a troublemaker? No, B plus. Uh, why isn't your hair spiky? Uh, because TV. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Uh, oh, jeez, Sonic. Uh, no, no, Taco Bell. When did you last trip and fall? Uh. <laughs> now, How right now. How many names did you go by? Uh, uh, too many. Windows or Mac? Uh, uh, Windows. Why was your hair spiky again for that one episode? Uh, oh, uh, because it was a joke. Who's your third favorite magician? David Blaine. Uh, where's the beef? Uh, there. Boxers or briefs? Yes. Uh, how many teams were in the AL West? I can't give you I, I, you know, this experiment is over. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, so I mean, that was that was challenging, but I was keeping up as best I could. I would yeah. assume, like, let's say I'm a betting institution. That's the middle of, like, peak time. Like, I'm doing my best to keep up. Sure. So what does a DDoS look like? How different from that normal flow is it? Uh, you'd be getting thousands and thousands of requests from all different places, and you have no idea how to tell which one is a real person interested in the answer and which one is just a bot moving on to the next question as soon as they answer. So it might be one of them is somebody actually offering money and then meanwhile I can't find them in the sea of thousands of nonsense like, hey, are you there? Are you awake? Are you alive? Yep. All right, all right. Let's 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 see what that would look like. You, am, am I reading Yeah, that? oh, dude, dude, okay. dude, you're all the right. only... All right, all right, all right. Let ready? Have it. Commence the DDoS attack. Okay. 
Soccer or football? Um, football. Are you there, Schwood? Uh, yes. Uh, have you ever had Taco Bell Cantina that serves beer? Uh, yes. Blue no, no, no. Uh, are you th there, Schwood? Is your belly button an innie or an Audi? Uh, 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 what, uh, Windows or Mac? Question have mark? you ever been denied of service? Uh, are you there, Schwood? No. Uh, have you tried the Taco Bell Cantina that serves beer? I am. Uh, have you tried okay. the Taco Bell Cantina that serves beer? Uh, well, Clinton or Trump? Yes, I know. The I, Bell, they, Bell they, they keep... Uh, are, are, I'm Who's sorry. Your favorite magician? Windows or Mac? Uh, uh, are you there, no, Windows <laughs> Which one is Have you ever considered bathing in Jello? Why is this not this? Jello. Have you ever tried the Taco Bell Cantina that serves beer? Uh, have you tried turning it off and on again? Have you tried turning it off and on again? Where are the files? Have you tried turning it off and on again? Are you there, Schwinn? Are you there, Schwinn? Why is your hair spiky? Are you there, Schwinn? Are you there, Schwinn? Why is your hair spiky? I'm done. I'm done. I'm shutting down the server. I'm shutting down the server. There's no way. This is inhumane treatment of perfectly fine servers. Oh, uh, did we just waterboard the Schwinn server? Yes, you did. I'm not okay. Also, what is this Taco Bell cantina that serves beer? Oh, there's one in Austin now. Okay, all right, hold on. Let me find out. See, this is a civilized conversation we're having now. Uh, I don't know where it is, though, but... It's right across from campus. Is it really? I walked by yesterday. Perfect. Yeah. Dude, all right. Like, like where, 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 where across from campus? Uh, Everybody's like just asking if I'm Butler. there. 21st thing, so... A block from the Scientology place. Okay, ah. yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, is it north or south of the Scientology place? It was at the... I guess that's south. South. How many toes okay, do I have? Right to there, right there. Okay and right th yes, okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right, we got it. All right, so all right. Well, let's do a wrap up then. Like, okay. All right. I feel bad for the server. That's very stressful. <laughs> well, first of all, they're not intelligent being. All right, sorry. We'll do it. I feel bad for the server because that's very stressful. Uh, yes. You know what I feel bad for? The IT person who has to deal with a DDoS. I, let me do the end. I feel bad for the server because that's very stressful. Dude, you know what I feel bad for? The IT person who has to answer for what's happening. So if you find yourself in the middle of a DDoS attack, what, what do you do? Is there anything you can do? It's basically already too late at that point. So with DDoSs, you want to prepare for the attack and have your mitigation strategies in place before it happens. So, now I know there are people that show up that claim they can ameliorate DDoS attacks. Is, are they just extortion folks? Are they in on the attack? No, uh, so this is a legitimate service. They'll usually have very huge pipes to the internet, uh, as well as some techniques like proof of work that causes the client to prove that it's a legitimate request before it gets forwarded onto the server. And so they block it upstream. It never makes it to your server to cause that problem in the first place. Got it. Uh, all right, yeah, so we'll do one more. <clears throat> so what's the best insurance, outside of not be popular or interesting, to keep you from being the victim of a DDoS? Uh, so basically, you'll need to partner with a DDoS mitigation service. You'll have that set up in place before you are actually attacked. So just Google DDoS mitigation service and say, hi, I'd like to buy your insurance. What can we do? Yep, that's it. So you, basically, they're going to route you through their own connections to the Internet so that they have control over the upstream before it gets to your server. Wow. Dude, uh, we should start selling DDoS insurance. <laughs> That's not a bad idea right they, now. They moved to the Philippines. <laughs> uh, I was going to say Cayman Islands. Uh, how do we want to wrap it up? Let's see. Okay. So I think we learned something very valuable here today. You are a terrible server. Okay, yes, well, you're a terrible intermediary, but you're a bad API. Bad API. You're like a trash 80. Oh, yeah? You're like an Apple IIe that I pooped on. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's do it again. That was, that was bad. All right. Okay, so I think we can all agree that we've learned something valuable here today and that, that's, uh, that you are a terrible server. Uh, well, you're a bad API. A, a server's only as good as its API, sir. You don't even know what those words mean. It it means uh, I'm going to go have a drink and y'all <laughs> can eat shit. Yeah, How about that? Go, That's what it means. Let's go find Trevor. This makes my yeah, hurt. No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we have time to squeeze in the sequel injection? Um, it we, is 2.11. We should probably postpone that uh, so that we can get to, because Mario's going to be here. In a minute? Yeah. All right. And we can. So can that can he's we not get you again, Jingle? Or? Yeah. Okay. How long is that going to run? Because I may be able to stick around. We probably won't have.